cover over our lives. Amen. Yes, the testimony of the professor. Yes. Very important Amazing. testimony. This is Professor uh, Dabiri, yes. all the way from the United States of America, yes. based in the United in the U in New, York. In, in New York. He is director of postgraduate training yeah. for gynecology yeah. for postgraduate training yeah. in America in New York. Now, I want you to understand the basis of this testimony. <laughs> this young man was in the same school, yes, in the University of Nigeria. Here, she class. was in the same class, and and then and then. Um, he, he got was an unbeliever. Was an unbeliever in the university. In the university. And would not listen to the gospel. In fact, of the other that, religion. Yes, he. I think he was in my group because his That's name right. is D That's and right. I was That's I. Right. I, right. I. We we're always together, but he's very hostile. Every time we attempted to preach to him, which we didn't relent to do, yes. you would always. When he saw you, he wouldn't want to be around and all that. And he 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 resisted the gospel, but we kept on showing him the word, preaching to him, living the life. He saw it, and then when he he left the university, and then he got to America, became a big doctor. Now, for you to well, before then, it was in Nigeria. He was sitting in his office in Nigeria, okay, okay, and encountered God. Sorry, yes, why? <laughs> he encountered God. The Holy Ghost walked into his consulting room, and he got convicted of sin and repented right there he went on his knees and repented according to what he said in the conference he came for he said the seeds had been sown over the years mm -hmm. and god picked up that seed and he was converted yes sir the messages was hearing the, the messages he was hearing before now now he's in america now and then a big doctor, a big doctor uh, that is 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 consultant obstetrician and gynecologist and and then now not just a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist but is training doctors to be Become specialists and consultants in gynecology. Now, the meaning of that is he is attending to women who need children, attending to all manner of female problems, taking deliveries and helping women to get pregnant and so on. But his own wife was barren for 17 years oh, Jesus. in America. Oh. In the midst of the most all sophisticated the technology, technology Any that there kind was. Of technology. And then what happened? And then he started having encounters in the dream of the night with the senior pastor with us and then he decided to come to nigeria that's right so he came in for the minister's conference of 2017 18 18? this is 2020 yes sir 18. okay 2018 mm -hmm. and he came in for the minister's conference and when he left america i was coming he said oh god let identify me let me be cited and identified. That's right. And, <laughs> and he came in sat in the he didn't, he didn't know that um, anybody would know him. Let no. me just be identified. By, that is like God speaks a prophetic That's word right. or something. Yeah. And while he sat right there, I looked at him and said, is that not so and so person? Dr. Dabiri? Yes, he said, yes, he's the one. Where are you coming from? I came from America. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, and, and that was and that was fulfillment of prophecy for him, number, number one, one, that he was identified. Yeah, and after the conference, we had a little chat with him, so very brief. And uh, um, we asked him, so how's your wife? How are your children? And he said, that's one of his major issues. No child. For and 17 years. For 17 years. And we said no. And Dr. Misenentia told, told him, you are coming back with twins. Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. <laughs> twins. And so we just declared on him. There wasn't very, very serious prayer. No declared. No, very, very and, and that was it. He went back to the US. Bam! Is it two months? The moment he the arrived in the US, months. the same month his wife, shaka, taka, his wife took in. His wife took in. Along the course of the pregnancy, they discovered they were twins. That's right. And guess what? She delivered twins, a boy and, and a, a girl. girl. The boy is Paul, the girl is Becky. <laughs> <laughs> the boy awesome is Paul, God. the girl is Rebecca. Awesome God. Incredible. He awesome shared this testimony God. with us yesterday. Yeah. He's right now doing his robotics training in, 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 in Houston yeah. and he couldn't keep the testimony and he said he has been trying to testify the twins are growing after 17, 17 years, years of being a specialist in America, oh delivering other women and helping others to get children. He couldn't get his own. Oh. Oh my God. What a faithful, 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 oh faithful God, God oh we God. serve. We have so many other testimonies that are lined up. Maybe we'll have another continue testimony tomorrow. segment <laughs> uh, and then continue tomorrow. But God is faithful. Amen. 
God is faithful and God is absolutely awesome. Lift up your hands and wherever you are and just thank the Lord for the testimonies for all that we have received and for how God is faithful, his mercifulness, his gloriousness, his wonderfulness. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you. We magnify your precious, holy, wonderful name. El Shaddai, ancient of days. Thank you, my 